Hello and welcome back to Terraria. How are you doing? So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play until um, maybe Wall of Flesh for this series. And then um, that's when I'll start uploading. So I know we're like five episodes in, but this kind of gives you an idea of how my, my process, a goblin army is approaching from the east. Well, that's actually a good thing. Um, Kind of, it kind of, kind of tells you how I work a little bit, but um, you know, I wanna, I do wanna gauge how much people want a Terraria series from me, and I, I want a convenient stopping point. I think hard mode is a good place to stop, um, basically. Like once I've defeated the Wall of Flesh, we'll have a, a, a sizable chunk of series for people to, to dive into, and I can, and I can kind of gauge the average view duration. I used to try pilots. I did pilots before, but like no one want, really wants to watch like a one episode thing. And also, um, most of my metrics are really the best on the first episode of something. And what I really want to do is gauge um, how much people want something by like if they're watching like episode four or five or whatever, right? So that's, that's how I'm going to do things, and, uh, you know, I don't want to give you nothing. I want to give you something, so consider it like a season one kind of thing, almost. Anyway, that's enough talk about that. We're fighting a goblin army now. The goblin army is a great way of making money. It's a pretty, pretty easy event. Um, and then after this happens, I'm pretty sure we will have the option, uh, we'll have the ability to find the goblin tinkerer. I could have my Terraria events incorrect there, but pretty sure that's how it works. It's either uh, when we fight the goblin army or after we've done the dungeon. I know that we get a couple of NPCs after we visit the dungeon, so. Uh, I should have healed. The heal button is not convenient. I might want to change it, honestly. It's H for now. Jesus. I said it was easy, and then I started dying, didn't I? Once, when I, if I actually hit stuff with my stars, it's really good. But I do have to hit stuff. Could switch to the rifle, but the rifle I know is bad. I think the rifle is just your first gun to get so that you can spawn the, um, the arms dealer. Um, and then you can like buy a better gun and also, uh, you can buy materials you need to make the really good guns. Terraria has a very strange kind of, um, logic to it. Like when you actually play it and like you have a Wikipedia's amount of knowledge, uh, of like how it works, how it operates, it really is strange when you think about it. It's like, yo... Um, how do I combine items? Well, you need the Goblin Tinker. Oh, how do you get the Goblin Tinker? Well, you need to wait for the Goblin Army to attack you. Well, when is that gonna happen? It's kind of a random event. Yo, these, uh, archers are really starting to cheese me off, actually. You can summon the Goblin Army. I, I really am appreciating, um, Star Fury right now. We should have a nice chunk of money after this. I don't know what for, but basically the next time there's a traveling merchant will be a good good opportunity. The goblin army is defeated. So now, unfortunately, we don't just get the goblin tinker. This is if I'm correct about my chronology of things. We don't just get the goblin the tinker. We all, we actually do have to find them. Where are they? Hey, do we have the uh, dru druid? We do have the druid. Nice. We could start working on uh, getting... Um, certain character NPCs in their desired locations. Like for instance, the angler, although we don't seem to have the angler yet, do we? So I do I do want to fight the devourer of worlds. That's something I intend to do. We have the die trader, nice. Die trader is very good. They're really, they're just good for making cosmetic items. This, there's a couple things I want. First of all, I want to get the rest, the, the gold we need to make our helmet. Secondly, I would like to get um, the goblin tinker and that's basically it. I could use a <laughs> Star Fury to, to look through the ground, basically. 
Oh, hey, there's a nice, uh, there's a, there's a friendly, uh, trophy down there. What's this? Antlion larva. I wonder if the antlions are a reference to Half-Life. I, I think I've always wondered that. Apparently you get a lot of stuff, a lot of NPCs when you fight your first boss. And also, like, I guess the goblin army. I still want to find, um, some more, uh, life crystals. I think that that's a priority for sure. Is this actual sand? Yeah, it is. But that's gonna be a pain in the butt to dig through. Also, sand will hurt you. There's some, there's a life crystal. Oh, God. The game bamboozled me. It ba it bazinged me. I, I actually, I, that is a really clever trap. Go, oh, there's a life crystal. Ooh. And then just a, a bunch of sand gets dumped on your head. You gotta admit, that's that's pretty clever. The music in this, uh, in, the, in this, like, underground desert is really fun. I hope, uh, uh, one thing I do worry about is, oh, God, I didn't, I didn't deposit my money. Uh, is, I hope people don't mind me being very lackadaisical about um, decorating the place. It's something that if the series takes off, I'll spend a bit of time doing. You know I like to do that, for sure. It's, it's like, you know, something I do enjoy doing. Um, let's put the, how much damage does this, 31 ranged. I mean, that's pretty good, but it's got very slow speed. It is actually higher damage than our st uh, Star Fury. I do need some more wood because I, I want to um, build up our our uh, inventory, our storage, and uh, I would like to make the place a little bit more presentable than just dirt. I guess you know I talked about feeling a little bit self-conscious about how. Um, how our headquarters looks, and then I proceeded to like, well, I may as well put a little bit of time and effort into this. That's, uh, you know, it goes to show my thought process. Maybe. If, if you could be as, you know, generous enough to call it that. That implies I put thought into things. Which I do. Um, alright, so we still need more gold. I kind of want to go get our money back. That, uh, that cobweb situation is not, not fun. We could check out, uh, that moon area that has the potential to, to have good stuff in it. So, I was, uh, I was, we were doing good, you know, good work was being done over here in this area. We were getting some life gems, maybe. We were getting some money. Those little t tiny termites, kind of, the damage adds up over time. Oh, there's a life gem. Also, it's just easier, like, to find certain things. Ooh, oh, god damn. To find certain things when, um, you're, like, exploring an underground terrain rather than digging. Yeah, I want to I wanna dig down. Star Fury is actually really useful for searching for, like, other caverns. I'm, I'm finding it pretty useful for that. Find some gold, that would be nice. What is that? Is it just, is it just like some underground junk? Oh, is that the golfer? Hello, golfer. Thank you for the rescue. If I were trapped out here any longer, I could have come down with a heart stroke. That's funny. Uh, I have never made functional use of the golfer. So, um, you know, although I am, I, I expressed any kind of, you know, gratitude in finding them. Are they golfing now? They are golfing. They're golfing to, to hurt enemies. That's really funny. Uh, I, I don't really care about the golfer. I, I like that they're in the game. Golfing is one of those weird mechanics that um, people tend to want in every sandbox game. So, like, there's a number of mechanics that, like, basically, if you make a game that could be considered a sandbox game, I'm choosing my words carefully here, then people will say, well, where's golfing? <laughs> um, similarly, another mechanic that they will say uh, is, is fishing. Every sandbox game needs fishing. I kind of get fishing. Fishing, like tends to have some, like, extra mechanic 
um, that, you know, makes some kind of mechanical sense in a sandbox game. You know, oh, fishing, you can get food, you can get resources, you can get things. Um, but, like, golfing? I'm, I'm sorry, I can't... I can't get behind that one. That one does not make sense to me. Because, like, why? Why do we want fishing and everything? What does that do for us? What does that do for me, really? If you like fishing, I, 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 you know, sure, I guess I could get that. But, like, also, why do you like golfing? <laughs> not judging, but maybe a little bit judging. Just a little bit. Just, I mean, I'm just judging a little bit as a treat, you know? I'm really hoping that we find the, um... Oh! Oh, is that him? No, that's, that's someone else. I think this guy offers... I was really hoping we didn't do exactly that. This guy offers some yo-yos. Purple counterweight. These are good. They're also very expensive, but that's okay. Strange Brew restores 70 to 120 life. Side effects may include unpredictable healing, inconsistent motion sickness, brief periods of inexplicable vul invulnerability. We have a wand, which is a material. Might be worth it. Bone torches. Spelunker glow sticks. Exposes nearby treasure. Well, we definitely want that, and I do want this counterweight. A counterweight is uh, useful if you want to make a do a yo-yo build. So, you know, glow stick exposes treasure. Doesn't necessarily tell you at all what kind of treasure it is. That's where Star Fury comes in handy. That's that's when we can say, "Ooh, well, there's treasure over there. What kind of treasure? Anything good?" No? Okay. Well, moving on. I'm still- I know we're running through the episode here a little bit, but I am still determined to- Ooh. That was very close. To, uh, do Devour of Worlds. I'm amazed at how useful this is, how effective this is. Oh, look at that. There's some gold down there, along with a very cleverly placed trap. I'm- I think there's a way to do- to, um handle this that does not involve exploding. Let's see if I figure that out. Yep, cool. We got some explosions, explosives. That This will definitely be enough gold ore. I wonder what happens when we throw the glow stick. Okay, it, it does it does expose treasure like all around it. It'd be really nice if we could also find the uh, goblin tinker, but one thing at a time. Seven enemies nearby, wow. Wow, all the glow sticks ended up there, huh? Anything good over there? There's lead. Trying to see what's under under there, but this pocket is kind of destroying this the Star Fury. Oh, whatever. We don't really need anything else. I think I have enough gold ore for everything else. Hermes Boots was definitely, like, one of the best accessories we could find early. But we, you know, I, I do like the, the balloon. Kind of want, like, the, I don't know when you get it, but there's a claw that makes mining, like, absurdly easy. I know that uh, since we have, like, builds now, um, we can, I can switch between, like, a, uh, a digging build and, like, a offensive build. Okay, that's copper. If there's gold down here, then I will collect it. This, uh, Spelunker's, you know, glow stick is kind of good in theory, but in practice, it's not super helpful. Oh, nice to know there's a boulder up there waiting to crush me. Oh, we got another minecart. Minecart's really helpful. More gold. There's more gold there, but it's kind of unreachable. Well, oh, there's more here, so never mind. Listen, it's gold, and this is also... There's not going to be a lot of digging in this game. There's, it's going to be a lot of exploration, mostly. There's a there's very few occasions where you got to, like, actually dig a bunch. I know that someone's going to say, well, what are you talking about? It's Terraria. You, you spend a lot of time digging. Certainly there are occasions where I'm going to be digging. There are, I would say, not a lot of occasions in Terraria where the tier of armor and equipment that we need relies on me solely digging and uh, instead of just exploring, you know? 
It's not all digging. It's a lot of digging for sure. But some more gold here if I really want it. I guess I do. And then I'll collect this and then we're we're good. Alright. Let's let's recall. Alright, so helmet. Let's see, is there a set bonus? Set bonus, three defense. That's not bad. Glowing mushroom, I'm going to throw into this chest here. Mining helmet, I'm gonna sell it. It's not a material, is it? It is actually a material. What can you make with the glow mining helmet? Ultra bright helmet, four defense. Improves vision and provides light when worn. The darkness holds no secrets for you. What do I need? Night vision helmet. Is this also a material? No. Okay, well, since it does actually make something, I'll, I'll go ahead and store it. Gold broadsword is 15 melee damage versus 23. So the gold, gold is already pretty much redundant. We definitely want demonite now. Um, so I think I have to wait for nighttime before the, the Eater of Worlds will show up. I feel like my blink root did not survive. Not sure what's up with that. Do I have some stone? Maybe I can get rid of this grass. Actually, we have wood. Why don't we just like get rid of some of this grass here? Well, unfortunately, I don't have any more blink root seeds. I apparently I have blink root planters now. Uh, so, but um, yeah, I, I kind of ruined things a little bit. That's fine. Sorted out our our garden situation a little bit, and it's just about nighttime. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, make my way over to the corruption, and we'll we'll. As promised, we will fight the Eater of Worlds. Kinda don't like this uh, dead man sweater. I'd rather have uh, our, our actual gold. <clears throat> I don't like, honestly, uh, this obsidian skull either. I think that's kinda a go. Kinda not, not good. Oh, I am gonna miss the miner's helmet. Having that instantaneous light is really nice. Uh, so I'm a little bit worried that we're not going to be able to do this, but, you know, we're going to do it anyway. There we go. Eater of Worlds. Feel like it'll be easier to do it maybe up here. Okay. I should have uh, maybe prepared a bit better. Had some potions ready. It's fine. Eater of Worlds is not super difficult. It's the other... Um, it's, it's the bosses in the future that I'm a little bit concerned about. There's the demon, uh, demonite ore and scales. We're also getting a ton of money. Must be odd to hear maybe that money is such a relevant thing in Terraria. Um, it can be. Like once you get to the once you get the Goblin Tinker, you can a hundred percent spend an absurd amount of money uh, upgrading your gear. Man, the Star Fury is working out really well, and also our gold armor is 100% doing its job. I'm a little bit worried that some of the um, stuff is getting buried in the wall. There it is. Leader of Worlds defeated. We can fight them again. That was pretty fun, actually. I enjoyed that. It's You know, it's always fun tearing into a boss and just, like, showing dominance over over you know as, a, as a, with your gear you've prepared adequately for a boss and you you just you can just tear tear them up it's always fun and also that that doesn't end up being um the norm much later what, what is that ancient shadow helmet i don't remember that one the uh, sticky bombs are certainly helpful 
We've got another shadow orb. Shadow orb will, will be helpful, maybe. Um, I'm probably gonna sell it. I got I have the gift receipt on this shadow orb, so I used to work at HMV. Most people will probably not know what that is, but HMV is a kind of like a, it, it was a music store, you know, back when people bought music uh, physically. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Ooh, ooh. Ouch. You know, then they, they tried to, when they realized that sales of music were, were not a big thing, they pivoted to Blu-rays and DVDs. And then once that, you know, became less relevant, um, and, it, and it has become less relevant due to, to streaming services, they instead pivoted to selling video games and pop culture stuff, which, you know, e EB Games, uh, you know, better known as GameStop, I guess, uh, they already kind of fill that niche. There was no point in competing with the basically exactly the same store. So long story short, HMV eventually went out of business. There we go. That's pretty much it. A meteorite has landed. So we're gonna have to spend a bit of time looking for that, but that'll be in the next episode for sure. Let's hope it's not somewhere uh, annoying. I've had meteorites land in some of the most inconvenient spots ever. Increased critical strike chance. It's not a material. So if I, it's six defense. So we, we would lose one defense and, and, and get improved critical strike chance. It seems like an upgrade. So let's go ahead and wear that. We'll probably um, upgrade again to meteorite gear. I'll keep the, I'll keep the gold armor for now. Uh, let's sell the shadow orbs. They're probably worth something. We got a lot of money from that also. Ooh, yeah, they're worth quite a bit. And they're not materials, so they're not. there's not really much reason to keep them. Vile for thorns seem pretty... Oh, f summons a vile thorn. Oh, it's not, it's not really a summon. These are not materials, so there's not really much reason to keep them. Drum set. Oh, that's fun. Yeah, there is there's not really a lot going on in the merchant. I did check out the dryad. They're selling some good stuff could check out the uh, Arms dealer. They're selling the mini shark. We don't have enough for the mini shark unfortunately and then illegal gun parts They only sell those at night time. I think but what we do want to do is start making some demon gear Let's see what kind of demon gear we can make shadow helmet is six defense so it's just, it's the same thing, only, uh, oh, huh. Shadow scale mail. Does this, does this, oh, this actually does count as a shadow helmet. So it might actually combine with the scale mail and the greaves. So uh, actually worthwhile, possibly. How many, how, ma how many scales do I have? 96, I should have enough to make basically everything. We're gonna make a nightmare pickaxe. We made a godly nightmare pickaxe. That's amazing. Unfortunately, it doesn't increase the melee speed, so um, we don't actually get an increased digging speed at all, but that's fine. You can't have everything. Um, I will make shadow scale mail and shadow greaves. We're gonna get the set bonus for that. Uh, set bonus, increased movement speed and acceleration. That's nice. And I guess I will start saving stuff like that. I don't know. Oh yeah, let's see what the Wand of Sparking turns into. I'm always interested to see what things, if it, if it says material, it turns into something interesting. Wand of Frosting. If we get ice torches, we can turn it into a Wand of spark, uh, Frosting. Shoots a little frost. N no knockback. Average B, 29% critical strike chance. That's kind of wild. Oh, I think that's just because of our set bonus. I can't believe it only took two uh, kills of the, the Eater of Worlds to make everything that we needed. So in the next episode, we're gonna go look for the meteorite and probably mine it out and then possibly switch sets again. Um, and then after that, it's just the dungeon. Um, I think that'll be the next thing on the chopping block. But anyway, if you're enjoying the series, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.